Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes with MH Tutorials, and today we're going to do a tutorial on air. All right. Now, uh, first of all, this is a pretty powerful uh, setting that you can use in your scene. And what I want to do is uh, set up a really basic, simple uh, scene so you can see how it works, and explain a little bit on you know what situations you would use that. Okay. Now you can find it in your End Dynamics menu under Fields and then Air. And then you hit the option box. Okay. Um, now sometimes you have uh, kind of a built-in air functionality in Maya. Let's say I did um, you know a tutorial a couple of days ago about how to animate grass that it's uh, affected by wind turbulence and so forth. And there it was kind of a built-in function that you could use. But let's say you have a simple polygon sphere, and I'm just going to drag that out. Okay. Pull it up a little bit. Let's say you want that thing to move around based on airflow, right? I'm just going to hit 5 for shader mode. Now what you would do is you would select your object, go to Fields, Air, Option Box. Just going to go to Edit and Reset, all right? Got that selected, and I'm going to hit Apply. Okay. Now what it does is it creates this little uh, propeller down here. Well, it's kind of a propeller. And if I do nothing else and just leave it the way it is, and I set up my animation frames to, let's say, 200 frames, something like that, and I would hit play, you'd see that the sphere will take off. The airflow is blowing that sphere straight up. All right? Just going to stop that, go back down. Now, while I have my propeller selected, I'm going to go to the attribute editor. And you've got a couple of settings you can play with. Now, one obviously uh, is important, which is the magnitude. Let's say we're going to do 200. Okay, so uh, if we hit play now, look what happens. It's taken off like a rocket. Okay, so that's pretty important. We'll set it back to 4. The other one is the direction. So where do you want that object to move towards? Now, that's your X, your Y, and your Z. So it has a positive value of 1 in a y direction. Let's say we're going to go with x. And I'm going to set that up to 5. Okay. Now, if we hit play, then theoretically, uh, the wind should blow in this direction. Okay. Let's try that. Hit play. And there we go. And because it still has a value of 1 in y, it's slowly going up, but mainly going to the right. Okay. So this, uh, these are some settings that you can play with. Now, um, the other settings, I'm not going to go through all of them. Just play around with those to get a sense of you know what's going on there. Uh, what I do want to do is I want to explain a couple of scenarios where you could use this. Okay, let's say, and I'll just quickly get rid of this scene here, new scene. Let's say you have an air conditioning unit, and you model that into the wall, right? And sometimes on these air conditioning units, you have these little ribbons uh, to indicate airflow, okay? And don't mind me just modeling this quickly. Let's say this is one of these ribbons, okay? And I'm going to go to Vertex. I'm going to drag, select these, oh, just these bottom vertices down here. All right. I'm going to right-click, go to Object. I'm going to create end cloth. Right click, go to vertex. I got this row here. I'm going to go to end constraint and transform. I'm going to select my object, field and gravity. Now, don't mind me modeling that. Okay, so if I go back to 200 frames and I hit play on this, then this ribbon should fall down and hold on my uh, vertices over there. Okay, so there we go. That's my ribbon, and it's hanging from my air conditioning unit. Okay, we're going to stop that. We're going to go back to the start. Okay, so I'm going to select my object. I'm going to go to Fields, Air, Option Box, uh, Edit, Reset Settings, and hit Apply. Okay, there is my propeller. Okay, so we have a Z value that, or a Z value that we want to have it move in. Okay, we've got 200 frames. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and, where is my propeller? 
Windows Outliner Airfield. There we go. And we're going to go to Direction. So that should be in this direction. And it looks like it has to be a negative value. Okay. So let's see what happens. We're going to hit Play. And initially it should fall down and then it should start to blow in that direction. Let's give it a try. Unless my minus 5 is incorrect, but we'll see. Oh, okay, I see the problem. We need to increase the magnitude. Because we've got a gravity of 9.8 on this, uh, we're going to increase magnitude to 100. Okay, let's give another try. Okay, now I'm going to set this to 5. Okay, it should be minus 5, but that's fine. Minus 5. Okay. So, that's kind of the point I wanted to make. Uh, so, let's imagine that you got your wall here, you got your airco unit here, and these. this is one of the ribbons blown from that. Okay? So that's one of the things you can do. Um, you can parent your propeller to a moving object. So let's say you have a car and the car is driving uh, down the road and it's uh, affecting something lying next to the road, let's say a piece of paper or whatnot. If you parent the uh, air flow to the car, then it will be affected once the car passes the, uh, you know, the piece of paper. You can also, for example, have a, uh, a flame on a candle, right? And you want that to be affected. So I encourage you guys to just play around with these settings, come up with some neat scenarios. And if you found a really cool one, I'd uh, like it if you would share that with me. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.